All right. No fluff. Y2JB is live and kicking. Works from PS5 firmware 4.03 all the way to 9.60. And guess what? Even higher firmwares got that spicy Ita Hinbira. Slim model, no disc, no problem. Your jailbreak is straight out of the box. No more overpriced Lua game disc. So if your firmware is in range, it's go time! Let's break it wide open. Y2JB, PS5, no limits! First things first, welcome to the channel! Let's kick things off by making sure your PS5 is offline. Turn off that internet connection before we dive in. Head into settings, scroll to system, and make sure system software update and settings is turned off. Next up, go back to system settings, head into power saving, and turn off all options under features available in rest mode. Then go back to settings, open save data and game app settings, head into automatic updates, and make sure both auto download and auto install in rest mode are switched off. This keeps your setup clean and jailbreak ready. Next, grab your USB flash drive and format it to XFAT. This step is crucial for compatibility with the jailbreak files. Make sure to use a high quality USB flash drive. Don't go for those chipatonic ones. Reliability matters for this jailbreak to work smoothly. Next, match your Itahin version to your firmware. If you are on 4.03 to 8.20, grab the itahin.bin file as shown in the video. And as for higher firmwares 8.40 to 9.60, check out the public beta test of Itahin version 2.4, available via the official Discord link below. Just a heads up, this beta won't last forever, so we'll need to wait for the official Itahin release. Big shout out to Lightning Mods and this team for making this possible. Show them some love and support. Once you've figured out which Itahin version matches your firmware, go ahead and download all the required apps in one go to prep your setup. Let's get everything ready for the jailbreak. Once you've selected the right Itahin version, download the Y2JB Backup 1.2.zip by Gezin. Big thanks to Gezin for hooking us up. Next, download Netcat GUI version 1.3, essential for sending payloads. Big thanks to Modded Warfare for sharing the link. Another big shout out to Gizin. Make sure to grab the Y2JB source code as well. Absolute legend. Now go to your downloaded files, extract everything, and organize them neatly so you can access them quickly when needed. That's everything you need to complete your jailbreak setup. All the essential files are now ready to go. Now on your PS5, plug in the freshly formatted USB flash drive and back up anything important. Game saves, settings, whatever you want to keep. If you're not worried about losing any data, feel free to skip this step. Once everything's ready with your backup setup, hit backup to start the process and let it do its thing. Once the backup process is finished, you can transfer the backup files to your PC for safekeeping. On your PC, create a folder with a name you'll easily remember, then drag and drop the backup file onto it. Once it's safely stored, you can go ahead and delete the file from your USB flash drive. Now it's time to get the Y2JB backup file ready for transfer to your USB flash drive. You can reuse the same flash drive you used earlier for the backup. 
Just make sure it's cleared and ready to go. Extract all the contents until you find the PS5 folder. That's the key folder we'll use to restore the Y2JB setup with the YouTube version for the jailbreak. Now, transfer the PS5 folder onto your USB flash drive, making sure it's formatted to XFAT. It's absolutely crucial not to forget safely ejecting your USB flash drive. Make it a habit every time to avoid data corruption. With your USB flash drive plugged into the PS5, go to Settings, System, System Software, then select Backup and Restore. This time, choose Restore to begin the process. Please read this part carefully. Restoring the Y2JB backup will overwrite your PS5 system. Any user accounts, save data, games, settings, or other content not included in your backup will be permanently erased. It's comparable to a near-complete system initialization. Around 95% of your PS5 will be reset. Make sure you're fully committed to proceeding with the jailbreak as this step is irreversible. The choice is entirely yours. The HDCP setting is part of the restoration process, so it's important to ensure HDCP is enabled before proceeding. Here's what you'll see after the restoration is complete. Press R1 to switch to the media tab and you'll spot the YouTube app already installed. But before launching it, we need to configure a few things to ensure everything runs smoothly. Next, head over to Settings, Network, Settings again, and select Connect to the Internet. Then set up internet connection. After selecting your preferred network connection, press the options button on your controller and choose advanced settings to proceed with the configuration. It was already configured when I arrived, but if nothing has changed on your end, you can manually set the primary DNS by switching to manual and entering the address provided in the video. After entering the DNS address and attempting to connect, you might receive a message indicating that your ISP is blocking the connection. However, if you check system software, console information, and see that your PS5 is connected via IPv4, then you're all set to proceed. Just make sure your PC and PS5 are connected to the same network. Now back on your PS5, launch the YouTube app. Once it loads, it will prompt you for the JS file. At this point, switch over to your PC so we can proceed with the injecting the payload. On your PC, Prepare the necessary files. Start by launching Netcat GUI and position the window wherever it's most convenient for your workflow. Now, open the Y2JB main folder and locate the laps.js file. We'll need it for the next step. You'll find the laps.js file inside the payload folder. Just navigate there to access it. Alright, the first step is to drag the laps.js file into the payload file path section of the Netcat GUI, then drop it there. In the port field, enter 50,000, then input the IPv4 address you noted earlier from your PS5's console information. Once all fields are properly filled out, click Inject Payload to proceed. Once you execute the injection of the laps.js file, Here's what will happen on the PS5 side. This next step is critical and applies specifically to PS5 consoles running firmware versions 8.40 to 9.60. If you're on a lower firmware, safely skip this part. For PS5 systems running higher firmware versions up to 9.60, you must inject case stuff first. Attempting to start with the ETHN file will not work. This step is essential for proper execution. Once you've drag and drop the kstuff.l file into the netcat GUI, update the port number to 9021 while keeping the IP address unchanged. When everything is configured, click inject payload to proceed. Here's what will happen on the PS5 side immediately after you click inject payload. Next and final stage is the Itahen inject payload. PS5 low and higher firmware owners, please listen and watch carefully for the next scene. Same drag and drop procedure applies. Firmware 8.40 to 9.60 grabs the Itahin L file. Firmware 8.20 and below grabs the Itahin 2.3B bin file. Just a reminder, 
Itahen.elf for higher firmware PS5s is still in beta and must wait for the official Itahen 2.4 release. After injecting the correct Itahen via Netcat GUI, this should appear on your PS5 right after clicking Inject Payload. If it fails, you may have used the wrong file or hit a bug. This is still new. Just restart and try again, making sure your Itahen matches your firmware. Just to be sure, let's check and confirm the jailbreak. I'm on 8.40 and ejected the Itahen 2.4 beta, which will expire soon. Big shout out to everyone working behind the scenes. Thank you for sharing your resources. Respect and salute. I highly recommend using a 2.5 SATA external SSD with at least 250GB, formatted to XFAT. Create a folder named Itahen, 3 lowercase and 3 uppercase letters. Then inside it, make a games folder. Put PS5 game folders inside games. Drop PS4 package files directly into the root of the drive. If done correctly, PS4 package files will appear under Install Package. Now let's go ahead and install some PS4 package files and give them a test run. PS4 games running great, and I just scored my first ever boss kill. While PS5 games will show up under Webman games. Now, let's give it a try. I highly recommend disabling internet right after jailbreaking your PS5. Only enable it when needed. Especially if you can connect to IP address 62.210.38.117. This helps prevent YouTube from auto-updating. Also, install Store, Items Flow, and PS5 Explorer offline. I've got tutorials on my channel, just search for them. If YouTube starts downloading an update, it will resume once you go back online. That means you'll need to restore your Y2JB backup again like I had to. If you can't access the blocking IP, follow my recommendations. Otherwise, you'll keep restoring backup files. At least with the tutorial shown in the video, you'll be able to start jailbreaking and get a solid head start playing your backup games. And that's a wrap for my Y2JB tutorial. Hope it helped you out even just a little. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop your questions or anything I've missed in the comments below. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end. Catch you in the next one. Peace and love.